20 years ago we were discussing uh, abortion and uh, fetus. Uh, now, uh, after 20 years of uh, talking about uh, abortion, it is murder, holocaust and unborn child. The main problem is we have a restricted law, restrictive law, but the biggest problem, the second big problem is that either, even within this uh, restrictive uh, framework, women's rights are not respected. Uh, then uh, another issue is uh, lack of access to uh, contraception and uh, like because of the financial barriers, because of the uh, lack of uh, consulting uh, points, etc., lack of information, because we don't have sexuality education. After political change in uh, 1989, when uh, so-called democracy uh, was established. One uh, of the very first uh, legislative uh, initiatives in Polish parliament was uh, banning abortion. And the question is why? Obviously there is a sort of um, um, trying to do something uh, opposite to the communist regime that uh, legalized abortion and it was uh, widely accessible during uh, communist rule. Uh, but also you have to take uh, into consideration the fact that uh, um, many uh, Polish uh, politicians are very much influenced by the Catholic Church. In general, Polish society identifies uh, itself strongly as Catholic, and obviously, uh, Catholic Church has a huge influence on both people and uh, political agenda. Uh, and uh, another issue is uh, patriarchy. Obviously, if uh, there were more uh, women in decision making, there would be impossible to um, to. Uh, pass this kind of law. Poland has a um, population of 10,000, uh, I'm sorry, 10 million women in reproductive age. And according to the uh, Polish government, there are 800 of abortions. I mean, this is the data from uh, uh, 2009 and 2010. And uh, last year, the government claimed there were 800 abortions. This is impossible. Very big problem is the fact that even uh, within the existing legal frames, when abortion should be legal, it is difficult to obtain it because uh, uh, medical professionals abuse uh, conscious clothes and there are different kind of barriers. So we try to assist uh, women with uh, at least this issue because we cannot really help them so much with uh, illegal abortions, but at least when the situation shows that woman is entitled to get this service, we do our best to assist her with, with convincing health professional, professionals that they should um, provide the service. In the worst case, uh, we, we do the litigation. We have uh, se uh, several cases, uh, one uh, in, in Strasbourg. Obviously, this is the, the ultimate solution. If um, you ask how Polish women cope with the situation, uh, we have quite good, uh, well-developed uh, abortion underground and also uh, abortion tourism is, uh, is, is, is growing. We can just tell uh, this woman to open any kind of Polish daily because you have one page of uh, uh, adverts uh, for uh, illegal abortion. It's only the question of, of price, which is, which is so bad because obviously uh, Illegal abortion is quite expensive in Poland and especially it is problematic for women who are uh, not uh, paid enough and women from um, disadvantaged uh, groups who, who don't have a uh, possibility to raise uh, the money. The issue of uh, black uh, alley abortion in, Warsaw, in Poland is very interesting because um, in general uh, we know from uh, statistics of uh, uh, World Health Organization and the different kind of uh, health organizations that uh, when abortion is illegal it's, it is often not safe. In Poland because of the fact that it has been uh, legal for many years obviously doctors are still trained to do um, abortion so although it is uh, illegal it continues to be uh, safe and we don't have uh, many uh, reported victims of unsafe abortions, happily. When you look at the whole picture of demography, obviously, there, there, for example, there was a steady grow in last years, but it was more uh, due to the, um, the um, 
demographic uh, boom of uh, 76 because we had then a couple of years that a lot of children were born and obviously there are some incentives from the uh, side of the government to promote um, bigger families. Poland uh, has quite a low prevalence of uh, modern contraceptives uh, compared with, for example, Hungary. Uh, this is also due to the fact that there is no sexuality education because it's sort of difficult to talk uh, about these issues separately. But uh, when uh, you want to get uh, contraceptives, you need uh, a prescription from, uh, from a doctor and uh, th there is no um, a subsidy for uh, contraceptives, so it's quite expensive, but uh, but still uh, affordable, providing you have a job. Last year, uh, Polish pharmacists came up with the idea to start using conscious clothes for pharmacies as well, and obviously it is not an issue in Warsaw we have, because we have 1,000 of pharmacies. If you don't get a contraceptive in one of them or a condom, you can go to another. But when we are talking about a small town that only has one uh, pharmacy, it, it is uh, really becoming a very serious problem.